In this video, I am going to show you how we are going, how we use microcontrollers in Multisim. Software version for Multisim I'm, I'll be using is Multisim 12, and we'll be using AT51 microcontroller and C line. Let's get started. So AT51, it's an 8-bit microcontroller with four I/O ports. I called port 0, port 1, port 2 and port 3. In the next slide I am going to show you the footprint or the pin diagram for AT51 or AT51 family which also include AT52, 8951, 8952, 8751 and even uh, a reduced version of this chip called 2051. So each port is 8 bits and the uh, most significant bit is port number and bit number, okay. port 0, bit number 0. And in our code we can call the, we can define the pin number as P1 power, one, P1 power 0, for example that's port 1 bit 0 or P1 dot 0 or we can give its uh, address in hexadecimal which is 0x90 so here's the footprint of AT51 and in today's example I'm going to use these three pins okay, port 1.0, port 1.1 and port 1.2 So, how is it going to be? Okay. As I said, we have four ports and let's say I'm going to, well, I'm going to use port one. Okay, so I put three LEDs with the first three pins, port one, Okay, red, yellow, and green. And okay, so if I'm going to turn on the first LED, the red one, this is the number which should appear on my port. Okay, we are now uh, because of the orientation, but we are reading these numbers from right to left. So for the red one, uh, if I convert this into hexadecimal, okay. so the number is actually 0000, zero, zero, zero okay. starting from here 0000, zero, 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 and 0001. Zero, zero, so it will be 01 in hexadecimal. And in my code, I will I will write it as 0x01. In C language, when you want to write a hexadecimal number, it starts with 0x. And 0x, any number starting with 0x means it's a hexadecimal number. Okay, a number starting with 0, O is octal with 0 after 0, 0c and uh, 0b is binary okay. different versions of uh, the compilers use a uh, different notation for this okay. but 0x01 it means a hexadecimal number okay. and if i want to turn on the first led as i said okay so that's 0x01 if i want to turn on the second led Okay, so that will be in this configuration. So it's 0x02 okay, for orange. Okay, the third one should be pretty straightforward now. Okay. If I want to turn on the third LED that is green, so it will be 0x40. So in my code I will write at P1 equals 0x40 
uh, sorry, not 400, 04. Okay, so that will turn on the third pin, green LED. So uh, this will be my configuration. I'm going to design a simple traffic light. Okay, that's why I choose red, yellow, and green, or red, orange, and green. Okay, so port 1 bit 0 will be red, port 1 bit 1 will be orange, and port 1 bit 2 will be green. Okay, I will go through the slideshow and then I'm going to demonstrate in multisim. Okay, so port 1, these are the bits in port 1, 8 bits. Okay, remember we are not using these 5 bits. Okay, so I'll just ignore these and only use the, the 3 bits. Okay, port uh, bit number 0, bit number 1 and bit number 2. Okay, red, orange and green. And we know by these numbers uh, that's how we turn them on. So here's the code. Okay, we start with our library. Now in Multisim we have uh, this compiler called High Tech Compiler. Okay, and uh, the protocol, the the way we include the library is to put it in quotations, not not in uh, the, the triangle brackets okay, like we do in a normal coding environment and generally if you are using uh, let's say Turbo C or Keel or any uh, proper compiler for uh, AT51 uh, you will be using include reg51.h for multisim, it's htc.h. Okay, I'm going to use an integer. Uh, now, uh, declaring the right type of variable is important, as you may already know from your uh, experience, your prerequisite course in programming. So it's very important to declare the right type of variable when it comes to microcontroller because uh, remember we have very limited memory okay, so and and decla declaring a wrong type of variable can be very catastrophic okay, there's uh, I, I would recommend for you to go to YouTube and look for Erin Fife explosion okay, that was was well, supposedly that was because of the uh, declar declaration because of using some some something like this okay, wrong type of variables in coding and eventually it cost a lot of money okay so I'll, I'll put in I'll, I'll put a link for n5 explosion in the description so you can find out So uh, here on YouTube, I search for Aaron Five, and well, just go through to one of these videos. They are very interesting, and just go through one of the videos and see why it failed, and how using a wrong type of variable caused it. Okay, coming back to our program. So uh, I'm declaring an unsigned integer and I'm going to use this for my delay. Now the lighting sequence, the, the light sequence I, I'm going to use is green, orange and red. Okay, so the main program starts here and infinite loop starts here. This loop is going to be repeated forever. So first port 1 is 0x04 which means green light, okay. green LED. That will be on and it will be on for, here's, here's a loop, uh, a delay loop because we start counting from x up to 100. Okay, This is in multisim because we are using simulation. If you are doing it on a real uh, microcontroller IC, maybe you will change this number to something bigger quite bigger okay? try 40 or 50,000 okay? 
obviously you are using integer so uh, integer remember integer is 16 bits okay unsigned integer is 16 bits starting from 0 up to 65535 okay so this number cannot mo go more than that but uh, don't use that big number for multisim because it will take ages unless you change the simulation time to real time so we have the green light then we have some delay then we have the orange light again we have some delay then we have the red light and we have some delay okay so that's the end of our while loop and that's the end of the program so after I run this program uh, what I will observe is green light yeah, orange light and red light okay. so let's let's simulate okay let's uh, see the steps and then I'm going to do it in multisim so first uh, you open the multisim 12 you will see something like this and then uh, you click on the micro MCU which is microcontroller then you click on 805x okay so because we are going to select 8051 microcontroller okay and I choose 8051 and give your project a name and from here in this screen remember in this case we have two options we can either do C language or we can do assembly language since I'm using C language and I'm using high-tech C51 like compiler and uh, on this screen uh, well I have to add a source file because I'm going to write my code here okay you can create empty project if you want to import the code from another software so I'll be writing a code so I just add my source file and then after clicking you will see something like this okay. so uh, remember in, in multisim we don't need to connect uh, any crystal oscillator to pin 19 and pin 18 yeah, so we just connect ground and uh, 5 volt VCC and LEDs are whatever we want to operate. So uh, VCC will go to pin number 40 and ground will go to pin number 20. And now for indicators. Uh, I am well I prefer using probes because they behave very similar to LEDs and I don't have to worry about too many connections okay so I will go to my uh, search I will look for indicators and I will select probe and from here I can select red yellow and green So that's how I'll put red, yellow, orange, and green as, as I talked earlier. And okay, now uh, after I'm done with design, uh, I will have another tab here called main.c. That's where I'm going to write my code. So over here, uh, just I'll just copy and paste the code which I saw earlier. Okay, I'll just put the same code over here. Now in that code, I write p1 equals 0x01. Okay, that's one way of doing it. And another way is that you define R, G, and Y. Okay, red, green, yellow, or red, green, orange. As character, character means it's 8-bit because port is 8-bit. So we we will declare as characters okay 8 bit variables and then i can define r as 0x01 y as 0x02 and so on or if i don't want to do this i can just write directly p1 equals 0x04 
so after doing that I'm going to click on simulate okay it will ask me whether I want to build my code yes I will you can also click here right click and build okay. and then play or you just play or I mean simulate and do yes okay that we do this in design view and finally if there are no errors okay we get the warnings and errors over here if there are no errors we will see well we, we will see how how it goes so okay before moving forward let's try that okay let's try that in multisim okay so here I have uh, turned on my multisim 12 I'll, I'm going to create a new workspace and okay what I'm going to do I will click on here which is the MCU or microcontroller I get this window so I will select uh, 80, 805x okay and I have two options 8051 and 8052 yeah, so I will select 8051 okay and so let's place it here in my works workspace okay let's give it a name let's call it traffic next okay I'm going to use a standard project type with uh, programming language SC high tech compiler and uh, project name one well, let's call it traffic also okay, traffic. and then I go next so I'm not going to create empty project uh, because I'm going to write a code so I'll do add source file no need to change anything over here just click on add source file and finish okay, so okay I'll just close this now okay now I got two tabs over here design view where I see my microcontroller and there's the main.c where I'm going to write my code so let's let's finish uh, our design first okay first go to power source okay, so I go to power source and I will select a ground and VCC okay VCC is 5 volts okay, you can use a battery of 5 volts also so VCC goes to pin number 40 and ground goes to pin number 20 okay so we got power okay now I'm going to go to the list of indicators okay so I have an icon here here place indicator and in indicators I will select probe and in probe I will select uh, red and orange and green and close okay so it's up to you you can uh, change the attributes for these okay you can rotate them for example oh wait I did I choose the wrong one replace with red okay so uh, you can rotate them you click and control R will just rotate it control R control R okay, and you can arrange them okay, so they look nice okay so the red one will go to pin number one the orange one goes to pin number two and pin number three connects with the green one so yeah that's it okay so now we have connected our indicator let's go to program
Okay, so as I said, okay, let me write this code in in Notepad uh, because I have previously gotten this question from students that they cannot see the code and I cannot increase these font size. Okay, so let me write the code in Notepad and I'll copy paste over here. Okay, I got a Notepad here, so I will write my code here. Include. Uh, well, in, in a normal compiler, you will write it like this. Okay, write it given dot h. And we are using the high tech compiler uh, in Multisim, which is called htc.h. Okay, but Multisim does not accept. Uh, this kind of coding or this kind of rule for writing library file. So, we'll proper the way of multisim and put it in uh, inverted commas. So, uh, I'm going to define my variable for delay. Okay, let's call it x. And I'm signing. Okay. Remember when you code, uh, it's very important to take care of the small things like placing semicolons, etc. because it creates a big mess in your code. And what else? Okay, let's let's get into it. So main function starts here and I have a loop while one. Yeah, that's my infinite loop will start from here so uh, starting with green p1 equals 0 x 0 4 and I have a delay for multisim so for x equals 0 x is less than less count of 200 only x plus plus and semicolon okay so it's a delay loop and you can just copy paste these two lines Okay, so the second one, which is green yellow, so that will be two, and finally red. Okay, I'm putting the same kind of delay for all. That's the end of while loop, and that's the end of main. Remember, you can uh, you can define these numbers as R, G, and Y. Okay, and as as a separate variable. Okay, let's copy this code, copy and I'll place it here, paste. Okay, so this is my code. I can right click and build. Okay, so it will show me all the errors in this tiny window. Or you can just go to design and run. Okay, F5 okay, or this icon. So if there's an error, you will you will see it. In, well, you will see the error. So yes, I want to build it and okay. So green, yellow, red. Green, yellow, red. Green. It's going to go like this forever. You can you can change the time. Okay, by changing this number over here. Okay, let's say if you want more time for green, make it 300. There's more time for green. So, go back to design, go back to run. It will ask you to build it again, yes. And now you see there's more time for green than before. Okay. So, you can play with this code. Okay, you can do modify it in, in many ways. Okay. For example, we, we see in some areas we see the green blinks before it turns to orange. Okay. So that's easy. We have uh, this is the part we have for green. Okay, let's let's isolate it. So, okay, what I can do is there's green on, so to blink it I need green off. 
copy these two lines okay, and paste so green off will mean all off so I'll make it zero zero let's make it for a small time not, not a big time quicker and again if I want green on so copy these two lines and zero four Oops, okay so these two lines is actually making green off and on so that's one blink okay if you want three blinks you can copy these four lines and place it to three okay so yeah this is this is where my green light blinks three times if i see that let's go yes and see so there's green there's blink three and then orange then red then green and so on and of course you you may know from your uh, programming course and they did, well, this is the long way you should, you should do it properly if you want to do it instead of repeating three times maybe you can let's say another way you will call y and you put it inside a loop okay. for y equals zero y is uh, less than three y plus plus no semicolon, just a bracket, and so now we put it in in a loop. Okay, so it will run for y equal zero, then it will run for y equal one, then it will run for y equal two. So there's three times. Okay, if you want six blinks, make this number six. So that's that's how we that's how we use microcontroller in multisim. In multisim okay, let's let's move on. So coming back to the slideshow, this was uh, as you saw, we just implemented this tiny project of traffic light, and let's let's modify it. Can you make up a counter? You know, in some places, in you you. Would have you may have observed in some places that there's a timer there's a counter or, or timer basically a timer with a traffic light okay so if it's a green it starts a count uh, from 60 seconds down counting to zero so so you know how much you are going to wait so what do you want do you want to try it and send it to me or going to do it let's do it okay, let's say this is our project okay, this is a solution to a project and we have two roads road one and road two okay, so we'll do one set of lights for road one which will be same and common for this side also okay, depending on which side you drive and road two and we will put a countdown timer using the hex display so how we are going to do it well that's how it should look like okay. I have basically the same thing I put three more LEDs and I put a display on port 2 okay. and okay let's so let's see the code first okay now we have road one and road two we have two roads okay so it will be green on road one red on road two so in binary it will be zero 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 one one zero okay or or zero x zero c let's uh, let's do this in notepad also okay so I just copy paste and go on so I brought up uh, this notepad uh, it's the same code that we just did okay. but now we have two roads so what I'm going to do is for ok 
okay I'm going to I'm going to display on a hex display also which I'm going to connect with both two let's uh, use this space to define a function define a uh, well, not define it uh, void and delay let's call it wait wait and integer i okay so this function will take an input of i and what's inside this function so what's going to be inside this function is that i have a loop for y equal to i starting with i okay whatever number because i is the number that i'm going to use for uh, down counting to start for down counting okay or down counter or timer whatever you call it okay so if i'm going to do like nine seconds so i will be nine and it will start from nine and eight and seven six five up to, up to zero so y equal one uh, sorry y equal i y is greater than zero and y minus minus and okay so what will happen is that i'm going to connect my hex display or sound segment display with port mm, which one let's say two so port two equal y okay. so when when y is nine port two will display nine then when y is eight port two will display eight when y is seven port two will display seven and and so on i'm just using a single hex display so i'll just start with nine and I will keep that number for for a little bit. Okay, so let's say I already have x here to as as my variable for delay. So x equals zero. X is less than hundred and x plus plus. Okay. So in my code, when I put this function wait and I enter a number that number is going to be displayed on my hex display as a down counter okay. so and now in my code instead of uh, this delay I can just write wait uh, I can wait how much how much for green let's say five how much for orange let's say three and how much for red again five Let, let's try this code in let's try this code first okay before modifying for two words so i'm back to my multi sim the same code that i was doing before before this uh, extended work so uh, the new code as I modified uh, I'm going to well, replace this with a new code okay and go back to design and yes okay so 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 it's it's not behaving the way it did I mean, well, some, something is clearly wrong I should be getting green, yellow, green, orange, and red. Let's go and see the code. Aha, so you see, uh, we have quite a few messages. We have an error and warning. What's the error? Let's focus on the error first. Uh, undefined identifier. Okay, so rookie mistake. Okay, we are using a variable y here, but we did not define what is y. Okay, so I will define y as integer. Okay, so you can uh, repeat this line unsigned integer y or you can just add it as x comma y okay. so uh, let's build it build yeah errors are gone okay so go back to design let's run it again and green yellow and red okay so uh but 
but in my code okay in my code if you see I have uh, put I've used port 2 to display some numbers so let's go to indicators and let's go to hex display okay and I'm going to use uh, let's use this one okay. yellow color so I'll put it here, place it here and blue. And I'll connect my hex display with port uh, port 2 over here. Okay, okay so let's, let's do the connections. 1, 2, 3, 4. This one over here. This one over here. This one is over here. This one is over here. Okay, let's run it again and oh okay so green is five four three two one then yellow is three two one and then red is five four three two one okay and repeat so looks cool doesn't it okay let's let's modify it for two rows Okay, because I said we are going to modify this code for two roads. Right, so uh, for two roads, as I show you here, we will have uh, road one is green, road two is red. So in binary, it, it will look like this. Okay, let, let's put the LEDs first then. Okay, there. So what I'm going to do, I will copy these three lights, copy and paste. Okay, so this is road one, this is road two. And you can move it. Lights one, two, three. So this is uh, connected to the fourth one. It's connected to the fifth one. Oh, it can be tricky. Okay, let's start from here. The fifth one will connect to this. And sixth one will connect to this. Okay, so now when I need a green here and a red here, it will be uh, zero 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 zero. Oh, no, not zero three. It will be so. It will be zero 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 one. Let's use a notepad. Okay, so because I'm using only six pins, so the two starting pins uh, will be zero zero. Then I have green, which is zero, orange is zero, red is one. Then I have green for the next road, which is also one. Then the orange for the next road, which is zero, and red is zero. Okay, so that's my first sequence. Okay, so what happened? This green, this red remains red, and this green goes to orange. So it will be the first road is the same. So 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. Okay, that's the red first road. The second road, the green becomes 0, and the orange becomes 1. And from here, it will go to red, red. A little bit so it will be zero 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 one zero zero one so there are two reds okay then uh, this red become green so I will get zero zero then the green one zero 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 and one then this green will turn to orange so zero zero then the green zero the orange is one and zero 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 one because the first rule is still red and then again it will go to red red okay which is zero 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 one zero zero one so we have red uh, red green red yellow red red green red yellow red 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 and repeat 
So I convert these numbers into into hexadecimal. So this number is actually let's see zero 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 zero. So that is zero uh, x zero and one one zero zero is c. Okay, zero x zero c. This one would be a uh, zero x zero one zero one zero that is a and this one will be zero x zero one zero zero one nine this one is going to be zero zero one zero so that is two zero x two and then zero 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 one which is one two one this number is zero x uh zero 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 one okay so zero x one one and again this is zero 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 so that's zero and one zero zero one which is nine so these are the numbers these are the numbers i'm going to use in my code Let's let's see. I copy these and I go to my code. So here I had the old traffic light. Obviously, I well let's let's place them here. For reference. So I have my first, which is the so that's the green red. Then wait five. Then green, uh, sorry, red orange. And then I have wave, then I have zero nine. Okay, let's all let's make all the weights as three. Or no weights for now. Okay, so uh, 9 is 2 reds, and then I have, copy, so this should be 2, 1, according to the sequence I had here, 2, 1, 1, 1, and 0, 9, so 2, 1, copy, 1, 1, and 0, 9. So this is my modified code. Okay, so what's happening here? Uh, this was uh, green red, five seconds. Orange, uh, orange red, three seconds. Red red, four. Let's make it two seconds. Then red green, five seconds. Red orange let's make it three seconds and red red again let's make it two seconds okay let's see if how it works so this is my road road one road two and rebuild the code okay so i have red hair and green hair five seconds this should turn yellow yes so yellow hair it's still red now red red for a little bit then green here this one is still red for five units of time orange red green oh so now we have our modified traffic light system and that's it there you go so maybe you can you can play some more games Okay, modify it because you have so many instead of these probes instead of these LEDs maybe you can use proper lights okay you have option of a bulb here okay in fact you have some traffic proper traffic light systems okay you have uh, ni components if you're using lab view or something and anyway just just play with it see what else you can find over there okay so 
that's it okay that's how you use uh, multi sim for simulating microcontrollers so try it if you have any questions just send me a message